All right, let's go ahead now one time. It's Eric Arnold here in his sports barn. It's Monday around lunchtime, uh, January 11th. Well, we're here to recap our not very good uh, weekend and get you a pick here for the college football championship. I've got my uh, Ohio State jersey on because I'm an Ohio State alum. And uh, it's a big game for us, of course. Hell, it's a big game for anybody to be in the championship game. But, you know, maybe we don't get there quite as often as Clemson and Alabama. So we're excited to be in it. Um, I, I had one subscriber. Uh, well, I don't know if he was a subscriber or he was just passing through. Uh, but he noted my other jersey that I had, which was our, I guess, our road jersey or white body red numerals. Uh, he said, well, that's a Roger Craig jersey. I think he's a 49er fan, this guy, of course. Uh, a Roger Craig jersey. I thought, all right, well, I'll put on this one. And uh, I guess then you would think that I'm Joe Montana, which it's okay. I mean, if we have Joe Montana running around out there uh, tonight, well, we'll be just fine. So it's, it's a JT Barrett jersey. Uh, JT was a good college quarterback for us for about seven years. I think he was with us. He was one of those guys that would get hurt, then he'd come back, and then he'd have a medical red shirt, then he'd be back again, then he'd be back again, then he'd be back again. And Anyway, I think he just graduated a year ago. Yeah, so I got my JT jersey on. All right, before we get to the championship game, let's recap our crummy weekend. Uh, we had two college basketball picks, both losers. Um, Friday night, bad handicapping. Um, you know, it, 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 it's correctable. You know, this kind of stupidity is correctable. Where I know what I did wrong. I was just in a hurry. You know, I was trying to make the planets align for both team, both games, and they didn't. And I just forced it, knowing, you know, it's like, well, shit, I need to get this done. I need to get out there and make the video. I'm sleepy. I want to get going here. So I'll just do it. I'll just throw the pick out there, even though it doesn't quite match or work or isn't right. You know, I, here in Ohio, I assumed that their best player would play. And... You know, in this college, you know, college sports, they just don't tell you dick. I mean, you just sometimes 10 minutes before the game, it's like, oh, yeah, that guy that was out all year, he's going to play. Or uh, the guy that you were counting on playing, yeah, he's not going to play. So it, it is a little bit of a crapshoot. I assumed their big player would play. He didn't. It was a runaway blowout for Toledo. So bad handicapping there. You shouldn't probably just shouldn't take that chance. You know, you get a player that's important, that's iffy, that's 50-50, well, then you just don't do it. You just leave it alone. Um, let's see. We had uh, uh, Michigan State then. You know, I, I had identified this team as not really that good earlier in the year. They won one game, and I immediately flip-flop and go, oh, Michigan State, aren't they good? You know, no, they're not good. They're not good. You know, it's probably going to take them a good six to eight weeks to get good, if they even get good then. So, you know, I, I flip-flopped way too fast on a team that I'd correctly identified as crummy. So that was a mistake. Uh, and then the NFL games, I don't know. I, I, You know, it was three and three in the NFL games, and I don't know if I would have changed any of them. I, I, maybe the Steeler game. You know, maybe that one I would have. You know, I could conceivably concoct a story uh, for the Browns, and I never honestly really seriously looked at it. I just, you know, in an effort to save time, I just said, oh, hell, let's just do what we always do. The Steelers always beat the Browns, and let's just do that. Uh, but, you know, this was a loss. Uh, the Bills got the W. Uh, Phillip Rivers got the L. But he covered, S-O-B. Uh, the Bills' defense simply wasn't good enough, or maybe said another way, the Colts' offense was too good. Uh, we had this one covered twice, and the Bills just couldn't hold it. Backdoor covers both times, bang, bang, and that was that. 
you know, again, I really don't want a dome team outside, outside in Buffalo, no less, not like outside in Dallas, you know, outside in Buffalo in, the, in January. I just don't. So that cost us, uh, you know, I, maybe here I should have been a little more, done a little more research. Russell Wilson looked like shit. Uh, he lost essentially to a combination of backup quarterback and a, a, a banged up uh, uh, Jared Goff. I mean, Jesus Seahawks. I mean, what the hell? You know, they, they, the Seahawks, I don't know if it was intentional. Let's put it this way. It's just occurred to me, but you know, good. I'm glad they lost. Sorry, Aiden, your team lost, but they're a bunch of chicken shit cheaters. Now that I think about it, you know, they knocked our quarterback out last year in the first round of the playoffs with a uh, illegal hit, even though it was never flagged. It's like, how's that possible? You hit my quarterback in the head. He leaves the game, cannot return, and you rule that legal somehow. How is that legal? He hit, you hit him in the head. Anytime you hit the quarterback in the head, let alone cause an injury, that should generate a penalty. But last year, of course, it didn't. All right, let's not relitigate that. But they did the exact same goddamn thing in this game. But this time, the Rams were better than the Eagles. Maybe the football gods had had enough of Seattle's bullshit, and Rams won. You know, they brought out Jared Goff, who I thought, well, this guy must be so bad that they're starting to back up ahead of him, and he played well. He played well enough, let's put it that way. And, and, and there you had it. So, you know, I, I this may be a weather vane game. You know, this may be a weather vane game. Uh, those are the rare, that's a rare game where it changes your opinion about a team. Uh, my opinion about the Seahawks is that they're a very good team and they have a premium quarterback and a premium coach. But, you know, here you had everything, everything going for you and you could not get the W. Perhaps you're not a premium coach and quarterback. So maybe I need to look at that for next year and uh, reevaluate my thinking about what Russell Wilson is. Um, so then the, we got the, got some W's here. The Buccaneers, they showed they're better in Washington. I mean, look, Heineke or whatever his name is, Heineken, uh, uh, he's, he's nice. I mean, for a backup, you know, nice. Not thrilling, but nice. Uh, but you know you're going up against Tom Brady. Uh, it just it, it just wasn't good enough. So the Buccaneers get the cover there. Um, at least for me, they did. I guess if you caught it late, uh, you did not get the cover. But for me, they got the cover. Uh, we finally got this one right. Well, I shouldn't say finally. I've been right on the, the, these guys every time. You know, uh, uh, I had the Ravens. Uh, 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 getting beat last year in the playoffs. I had the Ravens getting beat earlier this year with the Titans. I flipped this time and still got it right. So, yeah, this was uh, one where this was the Ravens' time. It was their time. Uh, the Titans maybe, uh, I, you know, the Ravens get some elite. Uh, Jackson's good. He's really good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, he can just do things. That that fifty yard touchdown run. I mean, nobody can do that. If that's the last guy that could do that. Michael Vick, maybe. Uh, Randall could do that. Starship Twelve. Randall Cunningham. He could do that. Uh, but yeah, you know, that's just a, another dimension there. So Ravens get it done. Congratulations to them. Uh, the Saints suffocate the Bears. This is another one where, you know, I have it at 10. Um, I got the W. I guess the number fell at 12. I guess everybody that had the Saints got the W because, you know, Roger Goodell needs to do something about this. It, now that sports betting is legal, 
And I know he did everything in his power to keep it from being legal. Just remember that betters out there when you think about who Roger Goodell is. This guy filed every last court filing, uh, motion, hired every last attorney he could get to prevent us from betting legally and easily with our local casinos of which are scattered all over the United States. He didn't want us to bet with these people. He did everything he could to keep us from betting legally. The bastard. Uh, but now, you know, that it is legal, he needs to think about some of this stuff because uh, his product is getting damaged every time something like this happens where a team drives down the field, scores the late, meaningless touchdown on the last play of the game well of course it's not meaningless because you got the point spread that's what half the people are watching your product for is the betting you idiot so when the coach of the bears says yeah game's over let's just go home when he's got a guaranteed point sitting there on the table that's going to push I don't know how many thousands of people's bets, uh, um, and he chooses not to do it, yeah, some people are going to say, the fix is in, the fix is in, and you don't want the, your, your customers thinking your product is fixed. Uh, you know, you think some politicians would have figured that out, but no, you know, all they care about is winning, and they don't give a damn if uh, the people think the whole thing's fixed or not. So Goodell needs to do something there. You know, it's as simple as just having a policy that, look, when you score, it doesn't matter. Uh, the try must be attempted. It doesn't matter where you're at in the game, what the status is, is at the end of the half, the end of the game, doesn't matter. You must attempt the try. Um, that would be a simple rule. But Saints get the cover and the win. And then this game, uh, you know, I, again, I might have re-examined this one. Clearly, the Steelers were just simply, I don't know what they were thinking, nothing, I guess. I guess they were just assuming that they would just go play Buffalo, uh, um, that, the, that they had no uh, chance in the world that they would get beaten by the Cleveland Browns. Um, you know, that, that was a joke. I mean, the very first play of the whole game is uh, your uh, all-pro center snaps the ball over the quarterback's head who, you know, I've seen, you know, I've seen a senior citizen, I've seen my father run faster to the mailbox than watching Ben Roethlisberger run after that ball. It was embarrassing. It was awful. I mean, talk about thinking the fix is in. Boy, you know, that was terrible. That was, Paul Crew would have given a better effort than that. So, um you know, the Steelers rallied. I don't even know if that's the right term. They really didn't. They were down like, what was it, 28 to nothing at one point? I don't even think they credibly rallied. They scored a few points, but they were never in this game. So that was an embarrassment, a complete embarrassment, particularly on your Sunday night showcase game. And you have one of the teams shit itself like that, that's embarrassing. So that's two, two Sunday night embarrassments in a row for the NFL. Um, not good. Very good for the Browns. Congratulations. Is that a weather vane game for them? I mean, they keep trying to, you know, suck me in. I'm not ready to say, you know, I'm not ready to get on their bandwagon. But anyway, that's three and five. I shaved my beard off. Enough losing. Let's get a winner. All right, I did. I went back and forth about what to do with this game, the championship game. I thought, oh God, me, I just go out there, pick Alabama, because that's you know, I, I'm I'm assuming they're gonna beat us just because I want Ohio State to win, and I'm in, I'm a Philadelphia fan, so we always expect that the great roof's gonna cave in every day of the week. Um, so, and I've been wrong all year. I mean, I've had the worst college football season I've ever had this year. Uh, so I figured, well, if I just do the opposite, like my wife says, why don't you just do the opposite? 
It's like, I, I don't know. I'm, I think I've seen a TV show about that once. Uh, but just do the opposite, and uh, then it'll work. It's like, well, that never works. But anyway, I've decided I'm going to give you what I honestly think. I'm actually going to try to handicap this game straight. Like, I'm not an Ohio State alum, and this is actually what I feel about this game. So I came down with, here's some things for Alabama that I find are in their favor. We got Alabama uh, at uh, nine points. They're a nine-point favorite, basically, at the moment. Fields must have. I, I don't, again, you're trying to figure out, is this guy hurt? Is he not hurt? I mean, he sure as hell looked like he had broken ribs last week after he got the crown of a helmet in the small of his back. <laughs> and, and, and he still finished the game, but he wasn't mobile. He could throw it, and he threw it accurately and scored some touchdowns, but he could not run. So I, I can't imagine that is going to do anything but hurt the Buckeyes this week. There's no way that's healthy, that, that shot he took. I just cannot. I mean, I know we got the world-class drugs there in Columbus, and we're going to do whatever we got to do to get that guy ready to play. Uh, but you know, all things being equal, I just assume he didn't take that shot in the back. <laughs> so we got that. Uh, the game's on grass. I had this opinion that, and it may not be true, but I just think we're better on turf. Ohio State is faster on turf, and our NFL speed translates better on artificial turf. And, and, and I know we've had some games in the Big Ten on grass where, you know, we couldn't get out of our own way. And, and, you know, could this be one of those kind of games? I mean, yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, let down, you know, we wanted Clemson. We wanted them bad after what happened last year uh, for the uninitiated. Uh, we lost 29-23 last year, a game we all thought we should have won. We all, meaning Ohio State. We thought we had the better team, and we lost. So we've been bitter about that for a year. And now we've avenged it. So, you know, Alabama, it's like, well, we have actually beaten these guys once. So I don't think we all have the same burning, uh, you know, the, the desire to get these guys uh, that we did for Clemson. Um Saban, you know, he's been there. He's done that. Ryan Day, he's still coaching over Urban Meyer's team, basically. Uh, you know, I think you got to give Saban the edge here as far as coaching goes. Uh, so, do we have anything uh, going for us here for Ohio State? Um, you know, this is what I came up for with Ohio State. For Ohio State, I came up with that. Ohio State's the better team. They're better than Alabama. That's what I think. We're better than they are. We're faster. We've got a better defense. I think we've got a better quarterback. Fields over Jones. I, I, I thought about that. I mean, as great as Mac Jones has statistically has been this year, um, you know, this guy was sitting on the bench behind Tua. Why didn't he transfer if he's so damn good? You know, that's what Fields did. He was at Georgia. He was stuck behind, I forget who. Uh, and he just said, well, I'm not going to sit the bench for three years here. I'm an NFL guy. I'm not just going to sit here and do nothing. I'm going to play. So he, he left. Uh, Mac Jones, I mean, are, we, are, are NFL teams breaking down the uh, door to get this guy? You know, all things being equal, these, uh, you know, good college quarterbacks are nice and all. But I'll have the guy that's going to go to the NFL if I can, you know, get him, and that's Justin Fields. So I'll take him, back injury or no back injury. Um, you know, we're on grass, they're on grass, they play on grass, we play on grass. 
I'd rather play these guys on artificial turf. I think that we would have an advantage then, just like we did last week against Clemson. But, uh, you know, I still think we've got just as much NFL talent as Alabama has. Um, the way we handled Clemson last week, was that just a one-off game where all the planets aligned and we played our perfect game? Yeah, maybe, and we'll never be able to replicate that, maybe. Or, you know, that's our top end, and if we play our top end again, which is, you know, elite teams are able to do that sort of thing. They're able to come right back and play another elite game. Um, you know, I think about where uh, uh, Alabama fell last year. It's like, all right, let's try and figure this out. Ohio State's better than Clemson. We're significantly better than Clemson. We were better than Clemson last year, even despite losing that game. The way we beat them last week, that I feel pretty comfortable in saying that. We were better than them last year, and just, you know, the breaks went against us and we lost. Clemson lost to LSU by about 17 points. Um, LSU handled. Uh, Alabama pretty easily. I think they won by a score. I don't know the game was that close. I think L uh, LSU had the ball last in that game. It wasn't like Alabama was driving for the winning score and just couldn't quite get there. I think it was the opposite where LSU had the ball and just fell on it and the game was over. Uh, so I kind of think that our team last year was maybe, I don't know, seven points worse than uh, LSU. Um, which is about equivalent maybe to what Alabama was. Uh, and now, you know, I think this two years team's better than our team was last year. So it's a long way of saying, I think we're better than Alabama is this year. Uh, so we'll see. I, I, I just feel that we have the better team. You know, we got all this other stuff going against us, I think. But at the bottom line is, I just think we got more talent than these guys. I looked it up. We're always the underdog. Uh, since we've become elite again, we've been the underdog seven times, and we've won six of those games outright. Uh, and I think that's what we're going to do this year. Not only are we going to cover the number, we're going to win this game outright. Ohio State covers the nine, wins the game outright, uh, wins its uh, what? Third national championship since uh, 68. Uh, second one in the last 10 years. That's how it's going to go. That's what we say. So it is written. So it shall be done. Ohio State. That's what we're playing. Go Bucks. Go Bucks. All right. We'll see you again. We'll have some college uh, basketball picks later in the week. Uh, hopefully... I won't burn them down the barn in frustration and anger since I just stuck my neck out. And I really want the Buckeyes to win. So let's get some uh, winners. Let's, uh, you know, no hard feeling Alabama people. made the best team win. Uh, I'm not going to uh, begrudge you guys one way or the other. Uh, but I want to win. So thanks. We'll talk to you again.